Hi, John Dalzell. Today we're going to talk about advanced premium tax credits. Um, in the world of the Affordable Care Act, healthcare.gov, there are things that you get that are called subsidies, and these are based off of your annual income and what you make as a for a family, individual, dependents, kids, all those kind of things. They're all considered when you're looking at the advanced premium tax credit. But keep in mind, this is an advanced premium tax credit. So what that means is just like getting an earned income tax credit or getting a dependent child care credit, those are things that you, you would get at the end of the year. The advanced premium tax credit, what that's out there for, and a lot of people will complain and say the Affordable Care Act isn't affordable. Well, that's not what they mean They mean when they're talking about the Affordable Care Act and the, um, being that it's affordable. What they do is they actually estimate your income for the calendar year. They put you on that chart to determine at the end of the year if your credit or your income had come in at that level, this is what credit you would have gotten. But they give it to you in advance. They'll divide it by one twelfth, and they'll give one twelfth of that each month to the insurance carrier so that they will lower your premium and uh, make it more affordable for you. That's actually what the Affordable Care Act means. But um, when you're online, when you're at healthcare.gov and you're, you're looking at that, make sure your estimated income is correct. If it is not, um, if you're underestimating what it's going to be, and let's say you were going to make $40,000, but you said you're going to make thirty five. They'll give you a credit based off of 35, but when you do your taxes at the end of the year, they're going to look and say, hey, you made 40, so we shouldn't have given you as much in an advanced premium tax credit, so they will want that money back on your taxes. Vice versa, if you do it the other way and you said, hey, I'm going to make 30 and you actually made 25 and you made less than that, they're going to tell you, hey, we should have given you a bigger advanced premium tax credit, so here it is when you do your taxes, we'll, we'll give you that. So it all balances itself out, plus or minuses. So... Keep that in mind when you're looking at your credits. Um, keep that in mind so they don't get shocked at the end of the year with your uh, with your taxes when you do those. But that's what the Affordable Care Act Advanced Premium Tax Credit is all about. Thank you.